Hello everyone, uh, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae Half Genie Hero. If you came right here from the finale, then you know what happened in the last episode. Shantae beat Risky Boots, saved the Genie Realm, and is now on a nice break from all that adventuring. Or is she? As of earlier this year, in 2018, another DLC pack was released, which was the Costume Mode, which gave three new campaigns to the game of Half Genie Hero. If you have Ultimate Edition, you'll have them right away, but otherwise they are DLC for the main game. We've already started one of the costume modes, which is Ninja Mode, and we still have Beach Mode and Officer Mode to do. But I think, given all the stuff that Shantae's had to deal with, let's go for a nice relaxing break with Beach Mode. She does have two costumes, and I know we use blue, but I'm going to go to red also because I like the jacket. So here we go, another time to uh, have some fun in the sun with our great pal Shante. And she's all ready to soak that sun in. Got my swimsuit. Got my towel. What am I forgetting? Nothing. Gotta beat those crowds. Bye-bye, Lighthouse. Sun's out, bun's out. What kind of saying is that? You sure you didn't forget something, Shantae? Like, important? That, you know, if you're gonna go visit a beach, you should probably have? I'll make straight for the beach. But first... I better brush up my summer safety tips, just in case. Got a rim right here, let's see. Gosh, this is long. Kinda wish there was a way to skip this. Anywho, safety tip number one, beach ball. Not a flotation device, but very effective for long-range attacks. I can't wait to play some beach ball, people. Press A to pump monsters with a beach ball toss. There's probably a different button depending on what system you're playing. Safety tip number two, a personal bubble. There's plenty of room for everyone. But when there isn't, press X to float away in your own personal bubble. Be careful not to let your personal bubble bump into emotional walls or real ones. And the last one says, safety tip number three, sunscreen. Oh. I forgot my tanning butter. There's nothing more important than sunscreen. Apply copious amounts all over your body. Over, oh, I guess bod can work too. Don't miss a single inch. You could even get a friend or two to help out. Maybe even draw fan out of the whole scene. I mean, why not? Shantae, why'd you write that down? <sighs> okay, she didn't. Send a copy to Sequin Land Safety Post Office Box Number 8, Scare a Squid Baron. Ah, uh, moving on. Keep a close eye on your sunburnometer. When it starts flashing, you better find some more sunscreen quickly. Catching sunburn will drain your health rapidly. Then it's game over for you. Be sure to reapply sunscreen non-stop throughout your day. Remember these safety tips and make your sun time fun time. Gosh, who knew that going to the beach could be so dangerous? Let's go. So welcome to what I consider one of the hardest costume modes because of the mechanic that they introduced. So starting off right away, you'll notice that on the bottom left-hand corner, we have this little uh, little yellow thing that's constantly ticking with these little uh, spikes coming out of it. That's the sunburn meter. And if you notice, Sante is getting more red and more red as uh, it keeps ticking up. And once it gets full... We start draining health about one-fourth every second. That's not fun at all. So we'll need to be looking for the sunscreen all over the place in order to make sure that we can stay in tip-top shape. This makes this mode very hectic because then we have to worry about, we have to do health management and looking out for enemies, for traps, as well as looking out for sunscreen so we can actually have enough health to endure some of the damage, or better yet, just not take damage at all. Which, it's me, so that's not going to happen. Additionally, we also have Beach Ball. These are actually kind of nice, they just kind of, uh, they float around and they go for a little while, so they work out pretty nicely. With more upgrades that you get to them, they can actually work out pretty decently. 
And as before, with Ninja Mode and with Prince of the End, we're going to be getting level up from gems. So if you want to, you could probably just stockpile on some of these Tinker Bats right here, just to get a little bit of a head start. And then finally, the most uh, pivotal move that you have in Beach Mode is the Bubble. This will just float you upwards and just kind of goes like that. It'll eventually pop after a certain amount of time, or you can manually pop it yourself. Keep in mind, though, that if you do run into a wall, like, uh... Where's the wall? <laughs> ah, no, 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 hi. Hi, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go run, we're gonna go run to a wall first, thank you. Where's that sunscreen? There it is. And, uh, shout out to you can not backdash in this mode, which is a bit unfortunate. But yeah, if we run to out... If we run to basically anything, but if we run to a wall, like, boop, it'll pop. Additionally, if you go into the water, that will stop the sun meter entirely, which is nice. So it'll make the, some of the first few areas very uh, easy to deal with because uh, they have water in them, but not so much the later ones. And final note, and this is kind of just a fun thing to notice, Beat Shantae has the fastest swimming speed of any character, because, I mean, she's right, she's fit, she's right to go, she's gonna go and uh, take the next uh, Olympic medal. Unless that cool upcoming kid's gonna take him, but I guess she would be in the women's division anyway, so it's not like she'd be going up against Michael Phelps. And so that, uh, that's, that's, that's Beach Mode. And also we have Dream Squids to collect as well. <laughs> never might know. Never, you, you never know what might happen. So yeah. So here we go. Um, dangerous time. We're in the danger zone. There's sunscreen. These early levels are pretty good about putting sunscreen in areas that uh, that are well like paced out so that you won't be too barren for it. But uh, as as it goes on, it will be a more Perilous. And now, I know when I was playing Friends at the End, I said, oh yeah, this mode is, this mode's hard. Yeah, I probably should have played more of this first. I have not actually been this entire mode yet, so we'll be doing some semi-blind areas later, which will be fun, just because suns the sunscreen is, uh, it's, it's a cool mechanic. I think the idea behind it was like, oh, let's make a beach mode. And then it was like, wait a minute, what if we made the mode that will seem the most fan service -y and most, uh, most and most like joyful because I mean you know you're going to the beach and everything what if you made that the hardest mode I think that's what they're going for I could be dead wrong on that but yeah with that countdown going constantly and yes it is always going constantly even during boss fights it does become a bit more of a hectic matter to manage all of your health but hopefully we can do just fine with no problems whatsoever and we're about to burn again. Luckily, we got that. Woohoo! The bubble will not protect you from the will not protect you from the sun, by the way. I thought when I was first initially playing this a long time ago that if I just win the bubble, I wouldn't contract anything, but uh, no, you still get sunburn while you're in the bubble. I, which I mean I guess it makes sense. It's kind of amplifying the sun a little bit. It's like a mirror. But I was also thinking, like, oh, you know, it's like water. So you're surrounded by this big bubbly water thing. But nope. And no, we cannot use the bubble to ride all the way up top like uh, I would like to. <laughs> Pretty much because the bubble will pop before you get up there. So you have to kind of use it sparingly. The nice thing about it is that if you time it just right, you can actually get the bubble to pop and then wait for a second. And then you'll have it, uh, re you can reform it again. But you have to be very careful if you're timing on it. At least for now, everything, I mean, this makes sense. Uh, we're surrounded by fire. I actually, I, if, it, if it was me, and this would be extremely mean to do, I'm kind of glad they didn't do it, but I would be like, well, you're surrounded by fire, so shouldn't you get sunburned faster? <laughs> Which I don't think that's how sunburn works, actually, but, you know, you get game burned faster. That bubble is really nice to use. The problem with it is that since it is a bit slow, it does take a bit of a wind-up to get going where you want to go. And if you're saying, well, this looks pretty easy so far, you, you know, it's just the first area. But uh, I need some sunscreen. There it is. And there's our last squid. And 
Okay, if we can just, because we're pretty close to the edge. Ha ha! Ha ha! We'll just do that. Woohoo! Hey, we got our squids, so we're fine. Hey, this looks like a good spot. I'll spread out my towel and... What's that sound? And get ready for the fantastical story of beach mode. <laughs> this is it. The perfect place to work in my tan. Oh, Captain, you got like... Um... Never mind. Yeah, well, yeah, what I was saying. I heard that. I have sensitive skin, I'll have you know. Basement dweller indeed. Who taught you to say such things? Uh... Fans? Developers? Other Tinkerbats? Shantae? Oh? Someone's arrived before me? Hi, friend! Ugh, just look at her. The nerve! She's hogging the best arrays for herself! Men! Uh... It's not really a beach, to be honest. Ready the ice bucket! Prepare to dump on my command! When did we have an ice bucket? I am very un uninformed of this. I mean, okay. Refilling the trays was your job! Oh. Never mind. Just pack the aft cannons and blast this beach bum into pulpy pieces! Bubbly, blubbery beach bully. So yeah, um, well, you'll get uh, you'll get some sunscreen from the bell occasionally, which is nice. But yeah, the story is uh, this is Risky Boots' beach spot, and we're taking it from her, and she's mad about it because sure, <laughs> I do like I love like the different flavor text of this mode because it is just so ridiculous. There we go. Oof, that was close too. So we won't really be getting gems from that bell because it takes so long for this anyway, so you really sh should come here fully leveled if you're able to. Because you pretty much want the bell to drop sunscreen at any time. Because it takes so long for that to go back. There we go. So we can at least keep the sunscreen applied. And as I showed you, it can go down pretty dang fast, so you do not want to be out of the... You do not want your sun meter max during a boss fight, because you have no idea... If you can tick it down just fast enough, then the rogue shot hits you, and you're done. I hope you're happy. That is actually a really cute pose. That's uh, kudos to the the staff who worked on all of the uh, text images for this game, because they they're all so dynamic and they're all so just fun. And I forgot that one existed. It's such a cute one. It's such a kind of sassy one too. You scattered your filthy gunpowder all over the place! This was the very best beach in sequin land until you showed up! Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay, uh, but it, this is a dock. It's not a beach. Um, okay. Ha! Huh. You flaunt your ignorance, young lady! And believe me, that's all you're flaunting. Anyone, everyone who's anyone knows this beach is all washed up. The real action has moved over further down the coast. And that's where I'm going. So long, Runt. <laughs> oh, that meanie. I'll show her. If a very best beach exists, I'm going to find it first. This is what we've come to. We are looking for the very best beach in Sequin Land. What a crazy world we live in. Also, during these windscreens, the sunscreen meter is not there, so you can actually just kind of play around for a little bit if you want to. Which is nice. It'd be kind of silly if it kept going, so you'd be like, Oh no, I gotta get in here right now. And also, that pose is adorable. It's like they lured you in with this temptation of, Oh, it's just a beach party, you'll be fine. But no. <laughs> that all said, I'll join you all on the next episode for when we go to the Mermaid Falls and see how that beach dwells. 
If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below, and if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Shantae Half Genie Heroes is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Steam, and Nintendo Switch. That's how we're beaching it up. If you like what you see as far as the game, please pick it up, and uh, you can get either the Ultimate Edition, which will have all the DLC right away, or you can just get the basic one and get the DLC later. Up to you. Otherwise, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then, ciao!